I'm Gloria. And uh, my daughter is Mami Adwasaboma. Hey, hey. Hi, my name is Nai Nai, and I am the sister to the one who cut her hair. <laughs> Bold. Hi, I'm Kune, and I am the sister of the girl who cut her hair. Hi, I'm Sasa the MUA, and I'm the girl who cut her hair. I'm the girl that cut her hair. <laughs> so why did you cut your hair? I cut my hair because I wanted to and also because it was a lot. So this is what made me decide to cut my hair. <laughs> you wanna tell them? Should we tell them? Should we tell them? <laughs> She went to cut it and that day my heart it was the boom 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 Very painful. <laughs> she was on fire. But honestly, I don't know what her problem is do because I've been telling her for a year <laughs> that I'm going to cut my hair. So why was she shocked? Did she not know that this is the money that we were going to use to do that? <laughs> very painful very painful very very painful i know you are going to ask me why it was painful can you imagine fighting with head teachers headmasters head mistresses and fighting with everybody in question and even moving her from schools just to keep the hair then one day, you are there without any proud notice. She's come and she shaved her head, her hair like a male, with her long side. Side view, very long. Her head like a, 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 a bed yawning. You did it! Turn around. She was the line. <laughs> Alright, so let's go home and break your mother's heart. <laughs> Then she comes with her, and the annoying part is her big sister. My sister, you know, she's my support system. <laughs> you see, in life, you have to support your sister in everything she does. Not knowing everything was planned with her. See, I was really surprised. I didn't think she would do it. I thought, I thought through the whole process, she would think about her mother. But all of them just decided to hell with it. No to Jubilee Mall to that because that's a barber that I know. I don't know him personally, but then I've seen him cut people's hair before. She took me. She said, She said, I was like, Couldn't you want to cut my hair? She was like, Yes, someone do it. Do it. Do it. And me too. I was like, Okay, yes, I'll do it. I'll do it. Then she showed me where I can go and cut my hair. She took me to the place. She sat me and she sat to pay for it. You know, always have big sisters. They're just amazing. I was just excited to take hair. Already, by the time I came, she had already cut a lot of inches of her hair. And it was beginning to look a mess. And it was stressing me out. When she's in the house, that wolf cut that she thought she did, but she then... cut it. She was trying to cut it in layers. It, well, it worked. It's not like I was trying. I, it worked. Uh -huh. It was not nice. So I was like, to do it. Go big or go home. Yes. 
so did you cut allow her cut her hair because you felt it would be good content ah <laughs> please i didn't do it for the content <laughs> and she came and i, I don't know see the annoying thing is eh? hey mommy what do you think hey, my mom doesn't have to worry about buying extensions in i did it for her <laughs> I thank God the angels held my hand. <laughs> she almost shouted at me. Me who did nothing. I'm so happy I was a part of the process. And they told me when they were going. My mother doesn't know that I'm going to shave my head, right? So we are going. And Kunedu told Amalfa. I didn't want to tell Amalfa. Ah, you cry, you no, spoke. She asked me. That's she that. was like, ah, you guys are going to cut the hair. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't even part of the process. But then. But yes, I, I understand her. Because I was also honestly had seen her cut hair. What do I have to say to my mother? You are right for your reactions. Because I was also hurt along with you. Yes, how dare she? I'm sure by this time I would have been in prison. <laughs> and how do you think your mother took it? Oh! Ha! Her haircut. To slap her <laughs> and smash her head against the wall. When you were a kid, you didn't look like a male. Now that you've grown and you are in the university, first year, you've got to cut your hair like armpit hair. What is that? Did you like the haircut? At first, no. <laughs> she looked like a boy. She looked like an SHS guy who didn't finish school. <laughs> My mom was always rubbing my head, so I thought she liked the hair. <laughs> it wasn't giving. It's no, you understand. But then with time, as she started exploring with the hair, like as I was seeing her explore with the hair, I realized that oh, it's versatile. It's it's not bad. She's actually doing something with the hair way better than what she was doing with her old hair. Not so. This is what made me decide to cut my hair. One time I was going to class, you know, walking from Brady to my class. It's not an easy task. And I had an exam paper and I, I wasn't really prepared for the paper. So when I woke up, I was already annoyed. Then I had to comb my hair because I hadn't braided. The hair was just not being obedient. So when I was combing my hair and it wasn't being obedient, then I started crying. So I said, you know what? This hair has got to go. I need my peace. Yeah, I think that was that was just it just I think it's an unnecessary excuse, but like I just needed something to follow myself up to cut my hair. Uh, what about her sister when she walked behind him? That's why I didn't even want to look at her. I did not even think about my mother in that in that process. Yeah, almost said I knew she would say no, but some parts of me knew she would say no. And in life, you have to make tough choices. Plus, it's not hey hey, is it hey hey? Wait, will she beat me? <laughs> She's a bad influence. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> So you had no attachments to your hair um honestly there were a certain point i mean i liked my hair i like my hair what is left of it now as well but in every every scenario or situation people were always trying to make me have competition with my hair and i was like oh what the heck like okay so in my school there was this girl that had long hair and mine was longer than his then they'll be like ah your hair and her hair whose hair is longer like those type of statements and those people that will ask you a question like um 
have you cut your hair before and then you say no then they'll be like ah that's why that's why your hair is long and i'm like if it's nice just say it's nice you don't need to downgrade the beauty of my hair and i was like after all if i cut my hair i'm sure i'll still be beautiful and i was and i still am i remember when i cut my hair my cross people were like someone you cut your hair but it looks really good on you and i was like yes i have just the right hair shape <laughs> yeah so yeah so i wanted to see if i had that much attachment with my hair as well but then when i cut it i was even happier like as i was sitting there they were cutting my hair i was like wow this is so exciting something new something fresh you know i wanted to do another hairstyle but i don't want to cause my mother heart palpitation yeah see i was just too happy to think about how she would be <laughs> so what do you have to say to her now i'll try not to cut my hair again i mean i won't cut my hair again but i can't do natural <laughs> how long has she wanted to cut her hair she had been saying it for more than three years now so i don't see anybody's problem you had been saying it you had been saying it i hadn't been saying it <laughs> <laughs> it was when i went to uni that i started thinking about cutting my hair yeah, she had been saying it so <laughs> i don't know what i don't know what the problem is so did you not think that it was a sign not to allow her cut her hair the day they weren't around. If you try and you don't succeed, try, try, try again. Mm -hmm. So you did not feel a small sense of regret after the shave? Up till now, I don't regret my decision. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say to your mother? Hair goes. <laughs> I also had the audacity to trim my eyebrows. <laughs> it was a lovely day. <laughs> but all in all, she has grown the hair, so. Do you like hair better with long hair and with short hair? I like who she is with the short hair. <laughs> but I like hair with the long hair. Pardon? <laughs> I think the long hair was a vibe, but I like how I feel with the short hair. Like, okay, yeah, today I can change it. If you do take care, I'll cut it. I can permit myself water gets in my hair faster. <laughs> like, yeah, I really like the short hair. Actually, the when I started growing my hair back, it was starting to you know give me a lot of heat and all that so i almost does this a bit <laughs> and i'll have cut it again that's like my mother is already tired of it so i'm gonna cut it again yeah, i just like it i like you like her long hair because i like to say my sister's hair is long my sister's hair is long but <laughs> i like the person she is with the short hair because she has an easier time with her hair and she looks more free with her hair and she takes better care of her hair with the long one it was always matter you have to tear hair to comb your hair tie your hair put on a scarf but with the short hair she actually does all of those things sometimes <laughs> my sister was saying that when i had the long hair i didn't take care of it i think that that was my recipe for hair growth because anytime i don't take care of it it grows longer but when i take care of it it becomes it starts breaking and it's like it goes through so much stress you see you just have to leave the hair allow it to grow you know because this short hair like this i allow it to grow and then it just grows and grows and grows what annoys me is you've cut your hair and then you started wearing wigs she she only wore the the short hair for like a month and started wearing wigs that's not true <laughs> see the first time i ever wore a wig with my long hair like braiding corner and everything the wig was so puffy but when i cut my hair and then i wear the wig the wig just looks just right you know <laughs> 
She absolutely <laughs> has no regrets. <laughs> no shame at all. So thank you guys for joining my sister's video. It's Sasa the MUA over here, Nine Opoku over here, and the others. <laughs> Oh wow guys thank you guys so much for watching this is sasa the mua nine opoku kune opoku and yeah we are done yeah so follow us on instagram our instagram handles are at sasa the mua nine dot opoku and kune underscore opoku thanks for watching this video hope to see you in our next video um this is me signing out bye youtuber over